It's a dead snowcat. And dead snowcats, literally one of the worst vehicles in the world to move when they're dead. I kind of feel weird that it's going to be a good day. Really? Yeah. That guy, man, it was only like $150 this time. Pretty good. What kind of day are we going to have, Alan? Wizard day. Try that. When it's cold like this, man, they're hard to start. Pizza. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is recovery time. As many of you know, this winter has been absolutely brutal out here on the West Coast. Uh, and it's also been incredible. We're getting snow uh, that we haven't seen in years, which means we're running into all sorts of problems that we also haven't seen in years, such as snow cats being stuck. Uh, that's what we're working on today. So you guys, this is a little different recovery because it's kind of close to the road, but it's a dead snow cat. And dead snow cats, literally one of the worst vehicles in the world to move when they're dead. Um, and it's buried in like four feet of fresh snow, plus whatever snow is under it. So there's a lot of snow around it. Our goal here today is to get that machine loaded onto the bed of our rollback and up to Salt Lake. We've got to transport it up to the shop for them. Luckily, we do have another snowcat here today to help uh, do some moving around. Uh, this is my buddy Paul's snowcat. Um, but the machine that's dead is right over here. And <laughs> good news and bad news is one track is completely off of it because they took it off and the other track still needs to be pulled off. So we have a situation where we have to uncover it, pop the track off because we can't transport it with tracks on the, on the bed here. I'm telling you right now, this looks like it's not going to be that tricky, but anytime you're dealing with, you know, a 20,000 pound machine like that, that's buried in the snow and frozen and dead and you have to start working on it, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get that track off. So we're going to get right to it and see what happens. We could be done in an hour or we could be here all day right now, honestly. Normally I'm pretty good at predicting what's gonna happen, but when it comes to like dealing with tracks, anything could happen. So we're just gonna get to it. Yeah, we got some electrical issues. Um, Every BR350 has electrical issues. <laughs> they, they all do. They do. And when we, uh, when we turn the ignition on and we start the cat up, that, that emergency light comes on and says turn off the cat and immediately. So, yep. Mean? I know that cat well. Okay. I've, I've had many of them. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Part. Just all of it. Four or five hours. What 
happens when you stand too close to the snowcat and Dave's operating. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay, go on, heave ho! <laughs> heave so, ho! I'm so buried. I'll give, I'll give you a hand. Do you have anything to say, Dave? Move. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't move. <laughs> Good filming, Alan. Alan on the camera. <laughs> Just overexposed. Yeah, probably. Time to go dig out the blade. Uh, Try to get started. <laughs> see if we can run the hydraulics to lift the blade up. Right now, the plan is to rip the whole blade off. Hoping maybe we can just rip the wings off. We won't really know until we go dig it out. So, time to go start digging. Alan, grab a shovel. Which side is the track on that side? The track's on this the track side, yeah. On this side? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a little bit more than nothing. Well, look at look at how much snow you can get in one scoop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these these things are the bomb. These are called toughies. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is not a toughie. When we parked this thing, this thing's been parked I'm here cold. since summer. Yeah. And then it rained and then it snowed. And so the grousers that are still underneath here are like cemented down in the dirt. Gotcha. So we gotta be careful. We, we tried pulling them out this way yeah. and we ended up tearing a belt. So we gotta, then we went in and we started lifting. Well, we pretty much need to bring this snow off so we can find another center point. Can't we just, since it's mostly out, just uh, pull this forward and out and just leave the track there? We run into so that drops down into the creek and it's and it's, it's a lot less uh, stable than up here in the parking lot. So I'm a little worried about getting her stuck down there. Well, how are we gonna pull this out anyway? Which what are we gonna do? If he wants to pull it out forward, then we could try to leave it. I think he's feeling like he can pull it out forward. Or pull it, or grab it, and then trying to pull it sideways and pull it off the track sideways. I don't know. Real question is see how dead she is. It's been sitting here since summer. Nope. She's as dead as dead gets. Oh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Right there. Right there. Right there. A lot of starting fluid in there. A lot of starting fluid in there. A lot of starting fluid. Well, it's got a filter on. I feel like it's maybe not primed, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll hold off till we get that jump box. <laughs> Real man of steel. Bug. Real man of steel. See if it starts. You ready? Yeah. See if it runs away. Oh. With all that starting fluid. It might. It might just go kaboom. But yeah. just got a little bit right. Why don't you put another spritz for good luck? But, uh, just one, just one bomb. I don't think you got enough. No. <laughs> even on, cowboy? <laughs> Try her. Who knows what the real plan is at this point in time? <laughs> the plan? There's a good chance he gets that bugger in here and just decides to yank on it with that. The plan uh, will present itself in about one minute. Yeah. See, I told you this is more work than it looks. We had to plow this whole thing out, and this thing is pretty much 
frozen solid to the ground with one track halfway off. So we gotta be careful how we pull it because we don't want to tear the track. Blade also needs to come off. Um, we're leaving it here and getting to that is a bit tricky. So as soon as we get to a good pull point there, we're gonna winch it, kind of kick it out of this frozen spot and we'll be able to uh, maneuver the blade and everything much easier. We decide we want to pull the whole blade off or just the wing. So let's just pop the wings. Right. So take this out, yep. fold this back, and fold this back. Yep. So basically this. Yep. We'll just fold them. Plan was to fold them back like we do on the beast, but pull them back as you can see right here. Bonk. Bonk. Ah. Right there. Don't move. Then it'll go back. So we got to pull. Two more pins, that pin, that pin, and yeah, then the whole wing will just come off. This will come towards you, that will come towards me, right? Or no? Yeah. Oh, oh, watch out. Keep going. I don't know. It's not moving. Where's that torch? Torch, torch. You guys back on it. All right, you know how. One and seven eighths is loose. Yeah, and one and seven eighths is uh, too small. One and eleven sixteenths is too small. Hmm. What in the dog shit? No one to know or There you go, yeah. yeah. Jeez. He was gifted with this Man, we need major amounts of strength. We call it monkey strength. Jeez. Uh-huh. If you can't break it, just have Hillbilly do it. He'll break he it. He, it's not Wheaties, it's meaties. No, seriously. <laughs> it's like a gift from the heavens. It's called cornbread, bud. Yeah. You gotta bring it all the way back and let this lock in. Just keep going. Okay, now you're good. Can you help, Alan? Uh. Where's the hammer? Let's work, Alan. Way to go. Break. You're strong. Yes. I have many brain cells, so I don't have to force it. I'm not saying here. So, we came down here to tow this up to Salt Lake because uh, it's got some mechanical issues. However, I think there's a chance we might have just found what the issue was. Maybe. Maybe not, but we need to get it started to see, to test this part before we tow it all the way to Salt Lake. The pre off mechanics came down and looked at it, but I don't know if they got into the, this part of it because it was buried in snow. Um, and if it's what I think it is, it's a really, really simple fix. Right here on the tracks is this little uh, cover plate that goes on the final drive unit. That plate, you pull it off and you flip it around to make the track uh, engage or disengage so you can freewheel it. I can't remember if out is engaged or not engaged, but that doesn't really matter because the other side that's not working, the cap had a crack in it, it was broken. So it could have been not applying the right amount of tension on the free uh, on the final drive unit. So we're gonna swap the cap from one side to the other and see if that makes a difference. Because then we won't have to tow it. So this is our cap that was 
broken and it was just kind of hanging off. Um, again, I'm not sure, but there's a, there's a chance that could be causing a problem. Almost got lucky. You know, I'm kind of glad you didn't fix that because that would have made me really frustrated. <laughs> Everybody clap. Applause. The applause lights on. So, hook to the front. Close the middle cigar. One side uh, spins, the other side does not spin, which means Sparks is pretty sure that it's a uh, computer issue. So. Hey, we're on. You want to center up again? Yeah, we're about to slide off, so if we go that way. Better be center now. You don't want to roll back, so. Want to swing? The problem is, this side is just pull. We, we need to take this rope and, and pull. On this side. Yeah. We actually just need to pull a little bit off center. What if we just take this? Slide it down it and pull off this. Well, I'm going to snatch back to that. Pull off this side. Okay. Go, go right around. Go right around the far side of the blade here. So it's just a little off center. Push it out with the bed, okay. but you want to get a yank them out? Get the ranger and yank it. It'll probably work. Should we use the ranger? I think the ranger will pull it out. Now these things weren't meant for pulling and stuff, so not very many good places to hook to. That's long enough for us. Are you sure? Yeah. Do we want to do that? So we're gonna try to pull a little bit off center to get it away from that pole. So Dave readjusted, we've got our strap readjusted. We'll see what it does. Like it's pretty straightforward now. We're level. Uh, we're pretty much straight, so it should just uh, slide on. In what theory. In theory. In theory, it's gonna go right on. Yeah. Well, we've been there before. Stoked. Super happy. It's 
way better than the last one. This one, we still got the sun out, so that's good. Well guys, there you have it. It went pretty much exactly how I thought it would. Not really easy, not super difficult. I mean, it's crazy because it was literally a couple hundred yards off the road, but being packed in the snow like that, frozen. Uh, it's a good thing we had the other snow cat, so a big shout out to Paul for letting us use that. Those things are so weird to load because when you load them on, a, on the bed of the rollback, it's the exact width of the bed. So it starts to slide off one way or the other. So I'm glad we took the time to pull it all the way out here to the road to be able to get it level to load. Because if we try to load it down there, it was just gonna keep on sliding off. And once it slides off, it is a nightmare. I mean, it's 20,000 pounds just kind of like sloughed off the side of the bed. So our work here is done. Now we just gotta haul it up to Salt Lake and uh, get it repaired. Big shout out to Robbie again for showing up. We're right in here in his backyard. The sun's Look, still we're not, out. Yeah, we're not stuck here. No, we're not stuck. We're not riding down the mountain in the back of Bud's Ranger. <laughs> we aren't waiting for we're hours. We're at a decent time. See, that's that's how you invite people to do a recovery. Anyways, we guys remember follow Robbie's channel. It's growing like crazy. He's pumping out awesome content. You do it like every Sunday, Wednesday? Every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's insanity. He commits to those days too. And when he misses them, his viewers let him know about oh, it. They so. get pissed. Don't ever expect that kind of commitment out of me because our <laughs> content is too all over the place. But that way we keep it uh, keep it fresh and exciting for you. So, unlike his. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but our viewers like it. Oh, he's got great stuff. Follow his channel. And we're headed home, so see ya.